Moving on to research. Uh, is research necessary for an IMG? No, it's not necessary. I've seen plenty of IMGs get matched without research. Uh, however, it, it is certainly helpful. And it, uh, it, in terms of elevating you, I mean, if you're an IMG with research, that elevates you above the IMGs without research. So, and, and, and maybe even, and, you know, maybe even some American grads uh, without research, depending on the, the specialty you're, you're going into. And about research, does it have to be done in the U.S. or can we also like um, say we've done research in med school regarding the papers we published while we were at med school? Is that also counted as valid research? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, do you recommend a basic research year before a match or even like a clinical research year for an IMG? I definitely would recommend it. If the plan was to do the research, then yes. I don't know that I would necessarily delay applying for the research year. Of course, again, recognizing that cost is a factor. So if, if that is less of an issue, then I, I think it's very good. So it's very good to go through the process uh, when, you're, when you're eligible because we also know the people from the previous years. We, you know, you came, you applied, or you applied, and you got an interview, and then you're applying again the following year. Uh, so, so if you don't match and, and you apply again, there's already some familiarity there. So if your plan was not to immediately apply, then sure, do the research year. But I would not necessarily recommend choosing to delay applying just for a research year. Right. And um, does the research have to be in the same branch as the specialty? Like, or can I have a research paper in dermatology and still apply for neurosurgery? Well, it's a very good example. Uh, so, so the short answer is, uh, no, it doesn't have to be in that specialty. The longer answer is, if you're going to apply for neurosurgery, you really should try and do some research that's not in dermatology. <laughs> that's a neurosurgery. But, uh, but yes, yes. So, so no, you don't need to have research in, in that area. Uh, again, that's going to be depending on the specialties. That's far less of an issue uh, for the primary care specialties. That's going to be a little bit more uh, particular for the, the, the subspecialties. And does the journal in which the research is published, does the journal matter or is any journal okay? Overall, um, almost any journal matters. Uh, almost any journal is fine. However, I mean, of course, more prestigious journals, item of research that is likely going to be for um, someone on the committee to come across, right? If it's a more prestigious journal. However, in the grand scheme of things, just having research in a journal, it's, it's, that's fine, yes.